just waiting for the stream to start and a very good morning to everyone thank you very much for joining us again at uh, streaming school it's really really nice to be able to still do this i'm joined today by one of the youngest learners for streaming school my little uh, nine-year-old amira it's going to give her a go on some of the lessons today and see how it goes uh, good morning action how are you buddy good morning i'm doing very very well how's everybody doing i trust we're doing very well and good morning to you nish Good morning. Uh, obviously, you're the, the unspoken hero. Thank you as ever for everything you're doing, helping helping with streaming school. And without further ado, we'll get straight into Mr. Jackson this morning. All right, Mr. Jackson, all over to you. Take it away, my friend. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. This is Action Jackson, and welcome to Streaming School. I am the resident motivator, and my job is to get you motivated. What does it mean to get someone motivated? Well, when we talk about getting motivated, we're talking about being driven. You know, when you're hungry for food and you're really hungry and you're going to the fridge, you're motivated, you're driven by something. When you want to watch your favorite program, you can't wait to watch your favorite program. When you want to buy a particular pair of trainers or, or a computer game, you're really driven. So motivation is what drives you, what moves you. So me, my job is to help you discover what moves you so that you're motivated. It's not just a rah-rah jumping up and down. It's about having great energy. I've been doing this now for the last 20 years and I love it. I wake up every morning like this. <laughs> People say to me, why are you so happy? Are you like this all the time? I say, yes, because life is a gift. And every day you get to open that gift to see what else you can do with that gift called time. And on this particular time, we're going to work together to amp you up, to get you focused on this streaming school. Before I go on, I just want to say I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you for dedicating your time to doing this. Many people on this lockdown are being distracted by so many things, but you've decided to watch streaming school to get yourself motivated. With that said, we're going to go straight to my sharing of the screen. And I'm going to bring you up uh, a slide. Uh, but before we do that, I just want us to get ourselves amped up, you know. And I always start with music. That's one thing I need everybody to do. Go and find yourself a piece of music that gets you moving. That gets you moving. That gets you moving. That gets you moving. Now, the reason why you need to move first thing in the morning is because when you move, it makes you feel good. And I've got a phrase. It's very easy. And I hope you can join me in doing this. The phrase is very simple. It goes like this. Are you ready? I am amazing. Okay. Okay. I am amazing. Come on. Come on. I am amazing. Ooh, you're programming your mind. I am amazing. Don't get shy. No one can see you anyway. I am amazing. For you guys who are shy, just do this. I am amazing. Huh? For those of you who are medium, I am amazing. To my crazy people, I am amazing. Shrug the shoulders. I am amazing. Now, you might be thinking, why are we doing this? Whenever we do something like that, it gets us warmed up. That was our warm up. Now, let's go straight into our lesson for today. So, I'm going to share my screen right now. So we can do this. Some of you are smiling, thinking, wow, that was a weird exercise. Uh, but it's good. It's good to get yourself zoned in and ready to go. All right, so I've got my screen here. We're making it happen. Go keep singing it. I am amazing. All right, here we go. So for those of you who've never seen me, my name's Action Jackson, the UK Ambassador for Happiness. My job is to create a world where our young people can wake up happy and go to bed fulfilled. I've been doing this now for 20 years and I'm all about helping you get success. This is my foundation. Just as you have a heartbeat, this is the heart of what we do. Here at Streaming School, we're trying to change the way you think. So watch this. Your thoughts will affect your emotions, your emotions will affect your actions, and your actions will affect your results. Please remember this. If you're feeling good, is because you have a good thought. If you're feeling bad, it's because you have a bad thought. If you can control your thoughts just in the same way a bank has a security 
system to protect its money. You need to have a security system around your mind, not to let evil and negative thoughts in there. Why? Thoughts affect emotions. And emotion affects your actions. Actions affect your results. I hope you understand that. Protect your thoughts. Don't let people upset you. Don't let things frustrate you. I always say to people, be very careful of the ants. What's the ant? Automatic negative thoughts. Ooh. The summertime's here now, and I looked in my kitchen. Yesterday, I left some sweets down on the floor near the bin, and I should have cleaned it. By the time I woke up, there was like 50 ants all over the sweets. I was like, ugh, that's disgusting. I allowed the ants to come into the house. If you allow automatic negative thoughts to come into your brain because they will affect your results. So be, bear that in mind as you go through the day. Now, here's my foundation for today. I'm going to give you a reading challenge today, 20 minutes every single day to be, build your mind with something positive. Okay? So here's what we're going to do. I believe that readers become leaders. And the reason why I started the phrase with the phrase of, I am amazing, that's the way to program your mind. That's the way to get yourself focused. Otherwise, you can't achieve what you need to achieve. So have a look at this. Your happiness is first, then your achievement, then go and make impact. If you're not happy with yourself, you can't achieve. If you don't achieve, you can't impact the world. Streaming school is happy. We're happy. We're a happy team. We've achieved some stuff. Now we're impacting you. Now it goes up to do exactly the same. Okay. So very quickly, as I wrap up, how do you get happy? Number one, don't compare yourself to other people. That's the quickest way to make yourself feel sad. Don't compare yourself to other people, please. You're unique. You're amazing. I am amazing. Yeah. Remember that. Next up, achievement. Take things one step at a time. Don't rush. You can't achieve great things by rushing. You take one step at a time, okay? And then finally, watch this. How do you make impact? You make impact by making sure you help a friend to improve. How do you help a friend to improve? Well, if something is impacting your life, share it with other people. That's very simple, right? So for those of us who just watch it, I just want you to sway for me. Sway for me. Sway for me. Sway for me. Say, I am amazing. 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 Say, I am amazing. I am amazing. That's what I'm talking about. What's streaming school? This is Action Jackson. If you love what you see, there's a whole lot more. Every single day we're tuned in to help you get educated and get focused. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube with some crazy clips to make you feel happy about yourself. Happiness is very, very important, guys. Whatever you do, make sure you say those phrases to yourself on a day-to-day -day basis. I am amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Stay focused. And remember, you are amazing. amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much, Action. Have a great day, buddy. You popped us up and give us some great reminders this morning. And little one watching in, uh, I think she enjoyed it. She's got, she's got notes down already, Action. She's got notes down already. Um, <laughs> so proud of you. So proud of you. Well God done. God bless you, my dear friend. Look after yourself, buddy. Have a great day. Thank you. And good morning, Mr. Murphy. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? We've got a student here for your... For your I know. Family. I know. Media it doesn't editors. surprise me, but... Yeah, she was going to watch you over there on that computer and I was just like, no, 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 just, just sit here. <laughs> you can be in this. You can be live. Um, yeah, how are you today, buddy? I'm very well, thank you. I'm very well. The sun's back out in this part of the world, so a little dull yesterday it was, but uh, yeah, sun's back out, so. We've uh, we've added captions to the bottom of the screen now, so everything we say, but Google's got some, well, I'm sure very advanced AI, which is actually right. They can words. even understand me. Well, of course, of course, but it's just it's just another bonus because we're we're going to do a little more on um, ESL for some of the students who wouldn't have their ESL support, and we're doing a little mm -hmm. more for people obviously who might prefer reading than um, than listening. So yeah, but I'm really looking forward to your lesson today. This this man's a genius. I'm going to learn a lot today. Um, so so I'm gonna I'm gonna go full screen to your face. Okay.
and then uh, <laughs> I'm going to uh, just tell us when, when you want these to change. All right. Uh, well, first of all, welcome back. It's nice to uh, be back on the stream again. I hope that um, however you chose to uh, observe Easter, that you uh, enjoyed it. I uh, hope the sun is out where, where you are. Um, so, uh, Nisha, if you would like to um, show the world um, my screen as soon as I have it ready here. Um, there we go. All right. Cool. All right, we're good to go. So, uh, as always, I will very briefly, uh, in under 90 seconds, I hope, recap what we did yesterday. If you haven't had a chance to uh, watch that stream yet, they are all available uh, because I, they are all linked together with uh, what I'm doing. So, all of these uh, individual ideas taken together will make you a much better reader and student of the media that is in your life. Uh, so, yesterday, I introduced you to uh, a little acronym, NIC and S, um, which helps you understand the genre of media, the, the type or the style of media. Um, I'm going to uh, avoid using the words type or style and just use the word genre because it's more precise. Um, so, for instance, if we're talking about action films or platformer games, we're talking about a genre. So, all of these genres have like a recipe. Uh, and a quarter of that recipe is in the narrative, the end, the narrative. So that's the, the events that happen in the story. So you know that you're watching, uh, say, an action film because of what you see on the screen, the narrative, the events that are happening within 10 seconds of switching the channel on a t on a uh, on your TV. You'll know the sort of program that you're watching based on the things that are unfolding on the screen. Um, so. Second part, the I part is the iconography. So those are the things that we would expect to see on the screen. So if we were talking about uh, an action film, we'd expect to see car chases, helicopters, other such iconography. So it's the things that appear on the screen uh, in the same way that when we're using uh, a piece of software, there are icons on the screen that tell us what's going on. Um, the C, N, I, C, the C is for characters. So again, depending on what genre of media you're looking at, there'll be different characters that we'll see. Um, and last of all is the settings, the locations where this media takes place gives us some idea of where, uh, sorry, what kind of genre it is that we're watching or we're playing. So the reason I did that yesterday is because once we understand how uh, genres are built, we can then look at specific areas of those four things, the narrative, the iconography, the characters and the settings. We can look at those in a little more detail, um, which is exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to look at specifically the characters part and I'm going to introduce you to something called props character types um, so which uh, comes under a bigger umbrella of like narrative theory now I don't want to put you off uh, thinking that this is going to be hugely theoretical there won't be equations there won't be anything like that I won't be using um, a whiteboard everything you're going to see is hopefully going to be from media products that you're already reasonably uh, comfortable with that you've seen before or you've played before or you've watched before I have chosen some pretty uh, well-known examples so hopefully they are um, they will uh, be relevant to you as well so props character types now just to clear up a little bit of confusion we've come across the word props before when I was talking about mise-en-scene we talked about the props being the things that the actors or the or the characters the things that they interact with the objects the things that are in that world is that what we're talking about today it's not because if you look very carefully it's spelt differently what we're actually talking about props character types is actually uh, a person prop is actually a person uh, unfortunately for us though it does sound like we're talking about props when we're in, in uh, talking about mise-en-scene so that's something just to be aware of that it can be especially at, at the beginning of this of your if you're at the beginning of the stage of um, your media journey if you like it's very easy to get these two things back to front so don't be I did when I first started so don't feel bad if you're still unsure as to which one uh, which one's which the more practice you have with this the more the more uh, embedded it will be in your long-term memory so today we're going to learn about what this theory is and we're going to apply it to some media texts 
again, to recap, when we're talking about texts in media, we're not just talking about things that are written with text. So we're not just talking about the written word. We're also talking about games, films, TV shows. They just all get lumped together into this term of media texts. So EastEnders, believe it or not, is a media text, even though it's moving images. So prop, Vladimir Prop, to give him his full name. Um, he was a Russian academic, uh, and he analyzed the plots of thousands of different Russian folktales and stories. Um, and he came to a very important conclusion. The conclusion that he drew after many, many years of research on all these different types of stories is that there were generally only seven different types of characters. Uh, so you might be thinking, but I'm not interested in Russian folktales, Matt. No, absolutely not. But it turns out that someone took Prop's research and applied it to Hollywood films and lo and behold, and other types of media products, and lo and behold, the same holds true. Even though we're not Russian and we're not interested necessarily in making folk tales, we might be interested in films or games or TV shows, the same rules apply, believe it or not. And if you don't believe me, hopefully the next 15 minutes should um, should convince you. So, uh, Leon, can you still hear me? Oh, of course, buddy. Would you care to uh, try that question that you see there on the screen? What is the link between these three different characters? Ooh, um, well, except many different answers. There are many possible answers here. Yeah, Amira, Amira's, Amira's added in, um, they're all boys. They're all boys, that is exactly, absolutely. Um, they are also, they all don't know why they're doing what they do or where they are in their kind of universe. Interesting, yes, they're all going on some kind of journey. Absolutely, that's interesting. We might, we'll, we'll, we'll certainly touch on that in the next 15 minutes. Um, we might also uh, consider them as the heroes of those particular stories. When we play Zelda, uh, if we've played Breath of the Wild, um, if you haven't, I would definitely recommend it. It's one of the greatest games ever, in my personal opinion. Um, we are playing it through the eyes of that character. We're seeing the story, the narrative unfold through the eyes of that character. We look at Woody, uh, him and alongside some other characters, the story unfolds through that character and the, the character on the right hand side, Luke Skywalker, the story of the, the, of the Star Wars film, the, the first one, The New Hope, um, unfolds because of that character. Um, so, oddly enough, the very first character type that we're going to introduce um, that Prop came up with was the hero, and again, I think that's pretty, pretty obvious, Matt. Even without this stream, I probably could have worked out that one of the one of the characters in all films is the hero. Yes, um, you're absolutely right. The hero is one of these seven character types. Now, interestingly, when we talk about the hero in media, they don't necessarily have to behave in a heroic way. We don't necessarily mean that the hero is always a heroic character. Uh, for instance, if we take this uh, example that's on the screen now, it could be argued that Batman is not a particularly, he doesn't act in a particularly heroic way. Um, and yet he is still the hero of those films because, as you can see in red, that character leads the narrative. What happens to that character leads the story, the narrative, forwards. So that is what makes him a hero. Not that he behaves in a heroic way, but that the story moves because of that character's actions or deeds. So again, it says on the screen that they're usually having some kind of quest, which brings us back to what you were saying earlier about those three characters, that they're on a quest of some kind. They have something to solve. Again, the other point to bear in mind is that heroes don't have to be male. And yet, we still talk about female heroes or heroines in uh, when we talk about media texts. So, one down, six to go. Wherever there is a hero, there is, of course, always a villain that goes beside it. Sorry, that should be at the top of the screen there. I don't know how that's managed to disappear. No, sorry, I managed to delete uh, the text for villain at the top. Sorry about that. Um, so, the crucial word, the crucial thing to understand about the villain in media text is that there is conflict with the hero. Um, so wherever you have a hero, you have a character that is usually in conflict with them in some way, and that again helps to drive the narrative forward. So, so far, we've talked about two different character types heroes and villains, which, to be honest, you probably could have worked out yourself. 
So let's delve, delve a little deeper into the other ones as well that you see in other uh, stories, in other media texts. The donor. So um, if you've ever um, done research on uh, blood donation, you know that a donor is something that gives blood or uh, an organ, or that word donor we use in, in other forms when we give something, uh, usually out of our body. Um, and it means something very similar in this instance. The third character type that prop comes up with after the hero and the villain is the donor. Now, in, the, in a media story, the donor's job is to give something to the hero. So the example, again, I've gone back to Star Wars because it borrows an awful lot of stuff from these props, character types, those particular stories. Uh, the character of Obi-Wan Kenobi in Star Wars can be considered the donor because he gives the hero character some information and an object which helps to move that story forwards. Okay, so three character types, hero, villain, and the donor. The dispatcher, um, similar to the donor in some ways, effectively all the, disp the dispatcher's job in a, a story is to send whoever the hero is out on their quest. So if you've seen the, uh, one of the new Jumanji films, there's a character in those, the Nigel Billingsley character, and he literally tells the characters and the audience exactly what their quest is. And within this, uh, within this area of Vladimir Prost character types, that character would be considered a dispatcher because they send the hero out on their quest. But, you might be thinking, hang on a second, Matt, I've seen a few Star Wars movies just to a really important point to bear in mind. Some characters will fit across different character types. If you think about it, if all media stories that we watched or we played um, used exactly the same characters in exactly the same ways, uh, all, all story possibilities would have been exhausted years ago. So the clever producers of media text, they kind of have characters which fall into maybe two groups, or they'll maybe have one where there is no obvious villain. It, it, there are instances where not every single one of these seven character types will appear. It's not, um, it's not always uh, that every single character type is used, and some characters can fall across two groups. The princess. So if you've seen Shrek, uh, in the case of Shrek, the princess character is uh, the princess. Um, but again, in other films, sometimes the princess character type is not a princess and doesn't necessarily have to be a female. Uh, we can, some people uh, use the word prize instead of princess for this particular character type. But again, they are normally the, the, the character that the hero is uh, trying to win over or uh, trying to uh, can, can be considered the prize at the end. Um, the helper, so if you've seen Shrek, um, the donkey character is uh, a really obvious example of that because through the donkey's help, the story gets moved forwards. The hero has a sidekick which moves the story forwards. Again, and isn't is that similar to this character, Matt? Absolutely. You could argue that as well as being a helper in Shrek, the donkey is also a donor. Um, uh, Vault Hero, so from Frozen, this character, Hans, uh, we be, at the start of the film, we think that he's a hero character, but through the story, his motivations change, and it turns out that the whole time he's been acting in a false way. So Vladimir Prop calls this character type the false hero. So we've got those six character types. We've got the hero, the villain, the donor, the dispatcher, the princess, the helper, and the false hero. Now, not every single media text will have those character types, um, and some characters will fit across multiple groups. So, Leon, I hope you've been paying attention because here's a quick test for you. I've decided to call this session, Let's Test Leon. If I had more time, I could have had a whole jingle and stuff set up, but uh, sadly, sadly not enough time. Um, are you aware of that particular uh, media text? Um, this, this film or TV? Yes. Text? Um, well, I deliberately put a text there to make sure that. No, no I, 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 I know the lady in the top left, so is this The Hunger Games? Okay, thing? this is The Hunger Games. That's absolutely fine. It's okay. Because um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through um, 
what these characters do within the within that particular story and which character types they fall into. So that character in the top Hunger left Games. hand corner, sorry, which Matt. of props character types would you say she fits into? So, sorry, Matt. Hunger Games was this generation Star Wars, right? Um, possibly, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, okay, yeah. So she, the one on the top left, she. Yeah. Um, actually, you've you've given it away from me when when you said with regards to uh, Breath of the Wild, she's got a mm -hmm. bow and arrow, or it looks like a bow at least. So she's going to be the hero. She is the hero. Yes. Um, in that, because taking Vladimir Prop's um, idea, it is her actions and the things that she does within that film which lead the story forwards. Um, now this game, sorry, this film does some interesting things with props character types because the character of Peter, who is this one right here, he's actually um, the princess. If we look at um, Vladimir Prop's um, character types, the princess character is usually the prize for the hero and doesn't necessarily have to be uh, a, female, uh, a female character. So in, in this this character, this particular media text, The Hunger Games, flips those gender stereotypes, if you like, on the head in that the hero is a female and the princess character, the one who's always falling down and hurting themselves and needs saving by the hero, is the male character of Peter. So Peter, in this case, is the princess character in the terms of um, props character types. Um, if you've seen the film, you'll know that this character information and help which moves the story forwards doesn't act in a heroic way, isn't the hero, doesn't drive the story forwards, but unfolds information for us in the audience that moves the story forwards. This character does something very similar, gives Katniss, uh, the hero character, lots of information, lots of help, so is uh, a helper within the story. And this character, as we see here, is the donor, uh, sorry, the, the villain character, sorry, um, in that has conflict with the hero character. Now, I could have chosen lots of different examples of uh, media texts to then break down to show you that these character types are everywhere in the media that we are uh, surrounded with. And that is effectively what your task will be today. Um, so the, the tasks that are going to be up on the screen after I've finished today are to break down the character types that are in your favorite media texts. So whether they are TV shows, whether they are games, whether they are films, um, break, use those seven character types um, and break down how your favorite media texts use those character types in this particular film. Who is the hero? Who is the villain? Who is the donor? Who is the dispatcher? Is there a false hero? Is there a princess? Um, you could even just, you know, turn on the TV right now and see what's on and see, is there, are there any obvious character types on display straight away? Um, if you did the work from yesterday's lesson where we were talking about narrative, iconography, characters and settings, you can use the information today about props character types to go into even more detail about the characters which make up uh, the, 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 the stereotypes in a particular genre. Um, so for for instance, this part in red that I put at the bottom of the slide is a, was an example of a really good response from a student of mine, where uh, after you talking about the narrative and the setting in a particular media text, they then went on to talk about how this particular media text used props character types to make it even more obvious what genre it is. They were talking about action movies, so they talked about how this particular story used a really obvious hero and an obvious villain and a female princess character, so they showed what they knew uh, about characters and brought in props character types as well. So I've got about 30 seconds left, so just uh, to make sure absolutely that you know what the character types are, we'll go backwards, we'll go, we've got a false hero character, we've got a helper character, a princess, a dispatcher, a donor, a villain, and a hero. So that brings me to the end. Uh, I hope that's been uh, enlightening. Uh, um, I hope that's uh, given you lots to go away and think about, that you can analyse texts that you uh, that are around you in your everyday life. And, uh, yes, thank you for your time and your attention today. Uh, Matt, that, that was super, buddy. That was really, really enjoyable. Thank you so much for that. Um, it was obviously one of the things that are... Oh, 
one of the things that are a hallmark of your lesson by sorry, I've been embroiled in children. Security message measures at my home office haven't haven't really uh, paid off today. But with regards to the, the obviously the, the excellent resources you're putting together there, um, in putting them together for the audience uh, on a live stream, do you find it any different to what you're putting together for an audience that you would have in class? Um, no, not necessarily. I don't think um, because I think I I deliberately choose my resources um, because I always try to put myself in the shoes of of my audience, whether that audience is a room full of you know. 20 30 teenagers or just one person sitting in front of a laptop uh taking it in so i always try and mix up the different kind of examples that i'm giving or uh explain it in different ways because i because i can remember sitting in lessons and and being confused and go i wish the teacher would explain this in a different way so uh i always try and do it in that way so that's another place where the transition to teaching online is easier or you know some people just you know it's, it's easy you can use a lot of what you've had yeah yeah Brilliant. For me, well, yeah, it's not, it's not, I've not had to, yeah, I've not had to, uh, I am pretty much like this if you come into a classroom that I'm in, yes. Uh, <laughs> this isn't an act, this is, uh, <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> Wonderful, thank you so much as everybody, really, really appreciate it. Um, Nisha, I'm going to hand over to you and I'm going to go and increase the security um, in, my, in my office <laughs> to, to avoid this. Uh, yeah. to avoid this <laughs> um, right, well, all yours, Nisha, thank you. Cool. When my screen shares. Yep, it's coming through loud and clear. Was um, it loud? So, as ever, students and parents, please get involved and try and do this. Um, we will have more sessions today, and you can catch up on everything on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. We also have another link here, which everything is going to be on. All the links are going to be on Facebook and YouTube, and they're going to be on here as well. If you go to join up at the top, sorry, my internet's being really slow. Hey, no worries at all. And then me123 is the code, and that's all you'll need to log in. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Leash. I will see you hopefully a little with a little less kids in about 15 minutes. Okay.